814, I'm John Aaron. And I'm Kyle Cooper. It's all about the scary and the gory in theaters this weekend. We're going to my island for a few days. Do you guys want to come? This is crazy. Picks include Blink Twice involving a frightening trip to a private island. I talked about that and more on Skype with Kuya P of Nerds Rule the World. Yes, John, we have a young waitress by the name of Frida. She's working this big billionaire's party uh, played by Channing Tatum. She later changes out of her work clothes and attends the party, uh, befriends uh, the billionaire, and gets invited along with her friend to this private island. Uh, So they're soaking it up in the sun. Cell phones aren't even being touched and everything's just going good but just day after day just things don't seem right uh and one of the friend disappears uh i'm gonna leave it at that john because i don't want to give anything else up on this because to me this is the thriller of the year john i really had a lot of fun with this we have zoe kravitz who we know as one of the you know one of our favorite actresses out there she's directing for the first time on this and she also wrote uh co-wrote the screenplay i gotta give it up to her she knows art and this is art in this film and really well done That's not our only thriller, though. There's one about a serial killer. Tell us about Strange Darling in theaters. Yes, John. Strange Darling, based on true events. Uh, We have a couple. Uh, We don't know who's who in this, but there's uh, it's based on a serial killer's last days. And who's the serial killer in this? Uh, but we follow this couple. And then if you've seen the trailer, something happens between this couple that now one is stalking the other. Uh, we're following this spree to find each other. It stars Willa Fitzgerald and Kyle Gallner. They're our couple. And this film is like an art house film. If you're a fan of art house films, you're a fan of thrillers, I was so inspired by this film as an actor and as a filmmaker. Uh, We have Giovanni Ribisi uh, on the DP chores of this, John. Uh, You know him as a popular actor. We have a lot of actors getting behind the camera nowadays. And I actually interviewed Giovanni Ribisi along with JT Molnar, the director on Nerds Rule the World. Please go check that out. As well as uh, the soundtrack artist, uh, Zberg, who creates a atmospheric soundtrack to this whole movie. It's so good, John. Oh, cool. Now you have a ghoulish finale, The Crow, also in theaters. All right, John. Yes, The Crow. People might remember Brandon Lee, the classic, the cult classic film that came out back in the 90s. Well, we are now reimagining that film for a whole new generation. This is The Crow for this generation, and it's so good, John. I know a lot of people are skeptical because how do you go back into that classic? Well, I think there's time for everybody, and Bill Skarsgård is the one now filling this role of Eric Draven. We get a little bit more of the origin story here uh, for this new generation. He falls in love uh, with Shelley, who's played by FKA Twigs. We get more of that relationship. And then what happens when uh, things go down in a relationship and past come into relationships? And uh, Shelly had a past, and that leads to them both uh, getting murdered. And uh, when they go into the beyond, uh, Eric Draven is made the offer to come back and right those wrongs and get a chance back at the people that killed him and possibly bring back uh, Shelly back to life. So... It is a action epic. Uh, We have some of the stunt coordinators uh, from like John Wick on here. I actually spoke with stunt coordinator Adam Horton. That's on his world the world right now. You can check out that interview along with my interviews with Bill Skarsgård and FK Twigs. This film is just so epic. It's a film about love and loss that I think we can all relate to. On Skype, that's Kuya P of Nerds Rule the World, which previews the latest in film, TV and streaming. (laughs) 